Hey guys, Music Ninja Matt here, and today we're doing a big vlog of crap that I've bought over the last, like, year or so. We're gonna be looking at some crates subscription things. Gonna be taking a look at some of these figures behind me, and also at some DVDs. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the crates first. So with subscription boxes, we tested some out. These are quite old now. Because I subscribed to Infinity Crate. I was with them for two months. And Infinity Crate was a more independent subscription box. I met them at Cardiff Comic Con. And they said, the thing with us is you tell us your interests. The boxes are different for everybody and they contain at least one pop vinyl one t-shirt so it's 20 pound a month i was like great i'm up for that i've got steve's loot crate here just to do a bit of a comparison with and we've got a poker block as well so this loot crate is from february last year it was the dead theme one which came with the deadpool figurine which i think is awesome came with this really nice deadpool t-shirt we got one of these Walking Dead figurines. We got, <laughs> it's the soap on a necklace, just the ears. That was, we were like, that's just weird. You get the little booklet as well. It just tells you a fair few things. It's got information and all kinds of good stuff in it. And then it's a little pin, which is an actual loot crate as a zombie. And all in all, I saw that, and to be honest, the t-shirt and the Deadpool figure were the two biggest things for me. But everything else, I was like, nah. It makes up its 20 quid price range, but it just, it didn't grip me that much. So then I've got my first Infinity Crate. Sadly, we did have, Jamie got February's Infinity Crate. Sadly, he he's not here, and I don't have access to it. If I get chance... I might message him and just say, what did you get in that crate? And then in the comments, I'll post uh, the list of stuff he got, if he's still got it. So this is March's Infinity Crate. To be honest, my reaction to this crate was really bad. With Loot Crate, I was a bit like, there's not a lot I'm interested in. In this, it's stuff I'm interested in, but at a much lower quality. Because it is independent, and it looks like they make a lot of the, the stuff themselves. However, they just the jump from this box to the next month, the quality improved. But in this, we got this t-shirt, which is a clever idea, but the font on it is horrible. Just the way it looks is horrible. It's a it's bad colour scheme. It says technical home and office repairs, and it spells out Thor. And it says giving godlike service at lightning fast speeds. So it's like I said, it, it's quite a clever idea. It's just the execution is pretty poor on it. We got a BB-8 plush, which even though it has Star Wars labels on, and it says it's a Disney product, it looks like it's been drawn on with felt. We got a Space Invaders magnet though. I enjoyed that very much. We got Thor's hammer as a keychain, which again I thought was quite cool. We got a Superman coaster. You get these, they're, they're kind of posters that are supposed to show you. So the theme was galactic. It's just kind of loads of different galactic people on a little poster. Not the best thing in the world, but not the worst either. I got my Chewbacca pop vinyl, which I was very happy with. But when I saw this, my thought was, oh, okay. So they own, they're they only going to give me really old pop vinyls that they've got in stock. You get your little card which tells you what you what you could have got. So there's the BB-8 one there. There's Thor's Hammer, the Space Invaders Magnet. The other t-shirts, there was a Buzz Lightyear but with Mario's head and a Sonic Screwdriver t-shirt. I think the Mario t-shirt probably the best one on there. And then the other pop vinyls, there was an Alien, there was Rocket. There was a Cyberman and there was Wally, so I, I was happy to get the Chewbacca. But it's like I said, my first impression was, there's more I'm interested in there, I wish it was at Loot Crate's quality. You know, so neither one really won me over too much. I got April's because I'd paid for two months anyway. The theme for this one, because this was, you know, this is around the time of like Civil War and Batman vs Superman and everything. This is a much cooler poster. It's actually a pretty nice poster, it's Batman vs Superman, so it's theme was like conflict. We got these Batman socks which have the little capes on, 
So I, I liked the poster, I liked the socks, a Batman vs Superman keychain, can't argue with that. We got a Man of Steel vinyl sticker, which again, I was like, fair enough, okay. Captain America First Avenger mouse mat. A lot of the stuff looks like stuff they just have lying around that they put in. The t-shirt was a lot better this time, a lot better, just the way the print was and, and everything else. The colours may be a bit in your face, but it's a, you know, Iron Man vs Captain America. I just think that is a much nicer t-shirt, really well done, this is what I mean, the quality just jumped up. And then I actually got a Civil War Iron Man pop, which shocked me, because these had just hit the stores. I bought my Black Panther and I got this, and I was like, oh okay, they are giving me new pop vinyls as well. So for the pop vinyls, you could have got Vault Boy, Iron Man. Sherlock, Superman, and a Walking Dead zombie. You could have got Superman socks instead of Batman socks. And then the t-shirts, there was the Cat vs Iron Man, a Supernatural t-shirt, and a Game of Thrones t-shirt as well. I got that crate and I was actually kind of sad that I'd, like, I'd only gone for the two months. I kind of thought to myself, both ends of the spectrum, a really crappy crate and quite a good one. If they kept that up, because that was, that was April's crate. If, if the quality had been like that each time, I'd love to get that. I mean, the t-shirt and the pop alone in that one is great. And then I get all these extra little bits and pieces. So Infinity Crate's definitely good. The quality is not always great on the products, but they're fun products. And you can't argue with getting a pop vinyl in every crate. That's just fantastic. It's like with Loot Crate, I've heard a lot of people say it's very hit and miss as well. But at least with Luke Quay, the quality is always very good of their products. There's so many other crates out there that I do want to try. You get like uh, Geek Fuel and One Up Box and all these other kinds of things. Finally, this was a, a fun crate. This is from September. And this was my flatmate Pete. Had He just accidentally bought two and it's called Pokeblock. And obviously you have like Pokemon Go's becoming a thing and it's just around the corner and everyone's getting excited about it. And in this we got this pineapple drink. I've already drank it, but it's one of you like pop the ball down and it keeps it fizzy. It was actually really nice. You have loads of wrapping paper, which I don't mind when they want to pack their stuff well. We got a uh, Pikachu bag which is pretty cool, like a nice little gym bag type thing. Got a Pokemon bookmark. Um, you've got a pack of Pokemon cards, and they're all from different countries, so you get Pokemon cards, you know, from around the world kind of thing. And then you get one of these, you know, shows you what's inside. We also got our Pokemon trainer's hat, which is, it's all right. It's fairly good quality and whatnot. But that was a, again, it was just a fun little box that I ended up getting. And I love subscription crates like this. £20 isn't too much to ask, but sometimes, like, £20 a month is a lot of money. The one that's been recommended to me most is the Marvel Collectibles one. So I may have to get one and just see what it's like. Because this is it, it's about testing them out. It's probably unrealistic to ask for, but I just want one that's consistently good. Where every month I get excited and I'm not let down by it. So that's all the crates done. So with this Disney Infinity collection, I've got other figures in the background there, just various pops and whatnot, my awesome Joker pop that Pete got me for Christmas. I've started to, I think I've got 14 Disney characters left to get, one Marvel and one Star Wars. I really adore this game and I just seem to have a really big problem, well, addiction when it comes to buying these figures. And then as well, my other addiction currently is when it comes to DVDs. Um, we've got our Marvel Cinematic Universe. We've got loads of animated shows like The Hulk, Iron Man, X-Men, Fantastic Four. We've got the Blade series. I've got my entire Kevin Smith collection. I started collecting the Pokemon films. We've got some anime obviously stuff like Smallville and Harry Potter, but that's not really new. I started getting all the animated DC movies. We've got some Star Wars Rebels there. We've got all the Clone Wars, all the Star Wars movies there. We've got all the X-Men movies, all the Superman movies. We've got all the seasons of Arrow. 
We've even got most of the anime Marvel stuff. If we come over here, you can see that I've bought all the Alien and Predator films. I've even got AVP, Prometheus. We've got the complete collection of Death Note, which I got for £20, which for the whole series was amazing. First season of Ultimate Spider-Man. Some more animated stuff like Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman. We've got Spawn, Swamp Thing, some more old school stuff. Box sets like Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, Gotham, Flash, all that kind of jazz. I actually got myself the Jurassic Park films, finished off my Rocky collection with Creed, I got Rambo. Pulp Fiction, still haven't watched it, apparently it's a good film. The original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film and Power Rangers film. Uh, Lois and Clark, The Adventures of Superman, loved that as a kid, so decided to pick that up. Daredevil and Jessica Jones as well. A few animated features, I mean... Some of these are clearly gaps in the collection, like Nick Fury. Why would anyone buy that? It was just a gap in the collection. I've got the whole of Earth's Mightiest Heroes, apparently one of the best Avengers cartoons. It comes heavily recommended to me. Got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. there. We've got the complete Lou Frigno Hulk collection, because Hulk is my favourite superhero, so I adore stuff like that. Howard the Duck, Man-Thing. Uh, Hellboy, Dread, we've got the original Captain America films there, just built up this this nerdy collection of goodness. My room is now an absolute tip, there's crate stuff everywhere and whatnot, but thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and also check the description below for all those links and competition news, see you later.